NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. I am going to explain about the fundamental period and the fundamental frequency calculation for continuous signal. This is a very important topics for GATE, IAS, ISRO, and other government examinations. Let us take a signal X1. By observing the signal, the signal starts at 0 seconds. For every 2 seconds, it starts to repeat. Okay. So, the fundamental feed is defined as the duration at which the signal starts to repeat. So, here feed for the signal 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 6, 8. Because the signal's repetition occurs for every 2 seconds. The fundamental feed means the initial feed. So, 2 seconds. That is equal to 2 seconds. Fundamental frequency is defined as the number of repetitions per second. By observing the signals, for every 2 seconds, it is repeated once. So, for 2 seconds, repetition occurs 1. For 4 seconds, 1 by 2 repetitions. So, frequency is equal to 1 by 2 hertz. Okay. So, the relations between T and F is F is equal to 1 by T. Relation between linear frequency and angular frequency. This F means linear frequency. Angular frequency means omega. One repetition is equal to one rotation. One rotation means 360 degree. That means 2 pi. So, 1 hertz is equal to 2 pi. 2 hertz means 4 pi. So, the relation between linear frequency and angular frequency is omega is equal to 2 pi F. Substitute. When F is equal to 1, omega is equal to 2 pi. Radian per seconds. When F is equal to 2, omega is equal to 4 pi. Okay, you should remember this formula. This is the angular frequency. So, general mathematical expression of the signal is x of t is equal to sin omega t plus theta. Omega means angular frequency. Theta means phase shift. Phase shift means how the signals delayed. By observing the signal, the signal starts at pi by 2 angle. So, the phase shift for the signal is pi by 2. But the signal Start at 0, so the phase shift for the signal is 0 dd. Okay. Fundamental feed and frequency calculation for the combined signal. Let us take the signal x1 of t. This signal x1 of t is combined with the x2 of t. This is another one signal x2 of t. Okay. The signals both are combined. You will get x1 plus x2. Okay. The signal x1. By observing the signal x1, the signal repeats for every 2 seconds. So, period 2 seconds, 4, 6, 8. Okay. The x2 signal signals repeats for every 3 seconds. Repeat 3, 6, 9. Okay. So, the, so, the x1 signal repeated 2 seconds, but the x2 signal does not repeat at 2 seconds. The x2 signal repeated 3 seconds. But x1 signal does not repeat at 3 seconds. x1 signal repeated 4 seconds. But x2 signal does not repeat at 4 seconds. But x1 and x2 both signals are repeated 6 seconds. Okay. So, this combined signals repeats at 6, 12, 18 seconds. So, fundamental field for the T1 is 2. Fundamental field for the x2 signal is 3. Fundamental field for the combined signal is 6. So, fundamental frequency for the signal F1, fundamental frequency for the signal X1 is 1 by 2, fundamental frequency for the X2 signal is 1 by 3 hertz, fundamental frequency for the combined signal is 1 by 6, if you ask F is equal to 1 by T. So, by mathematically, we may say that for the combined signals, fundamental field for the combined signal is LCM of the fundamental field of each signal. This is a mathematical thing. Okay. You should remember this formula. This is a concept. Okay, this is for mathematical calculations. So, fundamental field for the, the LCM of 2 and 3. LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Fundamental frequency for the combined signal is greatest common divisor of fundamental field of x1 and x2. GCD means greatest common divisor. Greatest common divisor of 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 is 1 by 6. How greatest common divisor of 1 by 2, 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 6. And I want to know about the full details of LCM means just go through the video attached in the description of the video. Okay. 
let us take a problem the signals two signals are combined our objective is to find the fundamental field for the signal so for the signal x1 this is the x1 of signal this is the x2 signals we know the standard form x of t is equal to a cos omega t plus theta a is a magnitude so omega 1 angular frequency for the signal 1 is 2 by by 3 angular frequency for the signal 2 is pi theta is 0 okay we know the relations between linear frequency and angular frequency omega is equal to 2 pi f from that we can find the linear frequency f1 is equal to 1 by 3 f2 is equal to 1 by 2 okay so we know the relations between linear frequency and the period so t1 is equal to 3 seconds t2 is equal to 2 seconds okay for the combined signals fundamental field for the combined signal is lcm of t1 and t2 lcm of t1 and t2 lcm of 3 and 2 is 6 so the fundamental field for the combined signal is fundamental frequency for the combined signal f is equal to 1 by 6 where t is equal to 1 by f 